Hey everyone, Tuck Tuck here, and Shrek 2 just turned 20 this year. How incredible is that? Not only does Shrek 2 turn 20, that means I'm turning 20 this year. But besides that, what people consider the greatest Shrek movie turns 20, it's just so unimaginable and yet so real. So I thought, why not? Let's watch Shrek 2 again. Just for fun, why not? And what's the best way to watch Shrek 2? Well, of course, on VHS. So let's put this in. All right, Shrek 2, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> no! I slept through all of Shrek 2! I'm not gonna rewatch it now. It's like the middle of the night, but uh, uh at least we get to see the end of Far Far Away Idol. Wait a minute. If you wanna register your vote with millions of other Shrek fans, go to www.shrek2.com slash idol. Hmm. How peculiar. Guess I'm just too used to the DVD then. Being able to pick the answer who wins. Wait a minute. Who did win Far Far Away Idol? Now, I sure we know what Far Far Away Idol is from Shrek 2. But, I also know a lot of people probably never seen the VHS of it. So, what even is the Shrek website? It doesn't exist anymore, but with the Wayback Machine, I could find it, but I don't want to look up the answer. I want to go deep down. I want to rank all of the Far, Far Away Idol performances and see who truly wins Far, Far Away Idol. So here are all the 10 contestants we have. We start off with Donkey singing Disco Inferno, Pinocchio singing Mr. Roboto, Doris singing Girls Just Want to Have Fun, The Big Bad Wolf and The Three Little Pigs singing Hungry Like the Wolf, Prince Charming singing I'm Too Sexy, The Three Blind Mice singing Clearly Now, Gingy singing Sugar, Captain Hook sings Hooked on a Feeling, Puss sings These Boots Are Made for Walking, and Shrek and Fiona sing What I Like About You. In 10th place, it is Prince Charming. He doesn't have any emotion. The only emotion I see is from Doris. And she's not even part of the act, so Prince Charming's the end. And even the way he sings, he's even giving less emotion, I'm feeling, than the actual singer. But next one is Pinocchio. Now, unlike what Shrek says, yeah, his point's a little wooden, but it's just the voice. I don't think when you're singing Mr. Roboto, that's the part you want to sing. Because that's not the chorus, that's the beginning part. I believe. So usually that's more with like a, a robotic sound, but there's a chance. But since there's no backing vocals, it just, it doesn't work too well. But he's not the worst. I will say I'd rather listen to him than Prince Charming. Number eight is The Big Bad Wolf and the Three Little Pigs. I rank him that far down because The Big Bad Wolf, he doesn't really sound like anything. He's dull, but the only ones giving emotion are the three little pigs, which even though they did sound all right, the three little pigs did get out of motion. The main singer is the big bad wolf. And you know, if you're not the one being entertaining, but the background singers are, it's not worth it then. Number seven, Captain Hook. Uh. I know when he's introduced, he sounds bad, but the rest of the song he sings, that little bit, sounds all right. So it's just that bridge into the chorus that he doesn't sound too good in, which is weird because he sings in the movie and he sounds all right. But obviously I have a feeling they picked Hooked on a feeling since he has a hook. So nice clever wordplay. Not that great at singing.
At number six, we have Doris. Doris is trying. Out of all these contestants so far, I would listen to Doris. Even though she doesn't sound the best, she still sounds all right. She's on cue, so that's good. And she's putting effort in, so which I can say a lot more for these, that she herself is putting in the effort to try to look good. And she looks entertained. She looks like she's having fun. That's what it's always all about. It's about having fun and really showing what you like. So out of all of them, I would pick Doris, but Doris is still number six. Number five, we have Jinji. He does sound good, but the dancing he's doing, a lot of the extra stuff he's putting in there, I just don't think works because it feels a little manufactured. It doesn't really feel like actual chemistry. It just feels a lot more like he's just dancing with someone. His voice sounds good. He's not really showing it off. So sadly, I'll just have to say Pinocchio, Jinji is going to be that at number five. But hey, still looks good. But at number four, we have Donkey. Donkey does have a good sound, but he does add a lot of extra noises, which in my opinion, ugh, doesn't really work too well. It could work well if he has backing singers, but a backing track isn't the best for that. Now, obviously, I don't know if that's something they did in American Idol. I've never watched it, but I'm sure it's there. But I also know from the audition process to even get in the show, it, you sing an acapella piece. So the way I see it, if he's there, I wonder how the acapella audition sound. Keep in mind, I understand this is just a joke and something fun for the movie. There is no audition process. It's just all I could think of at that point. Number three, the three blind mice. They sound pretty good, actually. I believe their harmonies did pretty well. But, even though they do sound good, it's a three-person harmony. So, just take that as you may. But, they do sing pretty good. Number two is Puss in Boots. These boots are made for walking, indeed. His boots are made for walking. And he does sound good. The only objection for him not being in first place is Tinkerbell actually adding magic to his boots to enhance it. Where, even though it was enhanced, sadly I'll have to deduct a point from that because it was enhanced by a third party, which he was doing good. Like, it added along to it, but that was an interference. So, I put Puss in Boots in number two. And now, for the final vote, who wins? Let's get the vote! Okay. The vote for the winner of Far Far Away, Far Far Away Idol is... No. This can't be right. Screw that. It's me! Aww. I mean, it only makes sense. I am the person that did the beautiful Meatloaf cover of Two Out of Three Ain't Bad with my friend Eli. I told you everything I possibly can. And my awe-inspiring cover of that one Dragon Ball song you don't know. I, I thought the herb would pass with time. And even called out by famous Godzilla YouTuber, GojiFan93, for allowing one of my beautiful videos to be in his video. I have a lot of thanks for GojiFan93. He really changed my life uh, when I was first introduced to him. And even mentioned by the famous Dark Knight Rises star, Tony Don't Know His Last Name, from the famous YouTube channel, Hack the Movies. This comes to us from Tuk Tuk for $5. That, that's me! So it's only fair I would win Far Far Away Idol. So if you didn't get from that obvious joke, one of the most honorable mentions I can say is Simon Cobwell, where if you remember on the DVD or 
if you buy it on YouTube, I know if you uh, watch the DVD of far, Just Far Far Away Idol, it auto sets to the Simon Cowell win, which usually only happens if they pick an if you pick an answer that he doesn't like. So, what is my number one spot? Obviously, the only people left. It is Shrek and Fiona. <laughs> Shrek and Fiona has a beautiful sound and amazing chemistry together, and I just don't know how they can't have the first place spot. They're so beautiful, and they sound so good. Even though Shrek's a little raspy, just the fun they're having and the chemistry they have together just always elevates it a little more. And so, that is my winner to Far Far Away Idol, Shrek and Fiona. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. And tell me, who do you think won Far Far Away Idol? You know, actually, one thing I haven't yet to do is actually look up the answer and see who, uh, if people have decided it won. So, why not? Let's check it. Who won Far Far Away Idol? What do you mean, Doris won?